the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion host will be with you all. My beloved one today is 24th day of July, B Monday, and we are still on that time of church calendar year A. Today the Monday church celebrates St. Shabel Maclough. is a priest. I read this will be coming from the book of Exodus chapter 14. Verse 5 to 18. A response of Psalm will come from Psalm 15, verse 1a. A gospel message will come from Matthew Gospel, chapter 12, verse 38 to 42. The theme of our message today is the glory of God. The glory of God. Those things that glorify God. Those things that testify for God glorifies God. That thing that witness for God glorifies God. Anything that manifests the power of God glorifies God. So God wants to take glory in all his creatures. In all situations, God wants to take glory. And that's why today, you can see the Pharisees and the scribes came to Jesus to test him and said, give us a sign from heaven. And they would believe in him. He looked at them and sighed deeply in his heart. See, Zuzul, evil and the adulterous generation that says for sign. When the sign of God, the glory of God is all around us, we are seeking for sign again. The sign of the glory of God is around me and you. In your life, everything is glory of God. The creations, your being, you are living and moving on this earth is the glory of God. You can't be asking God for the sign for you to see the glory of God. And they say no sign should be given to this generation except the sign of Jonah. Yes. The sign that will show manifest the glory of God to this generation is the sign of Jonah. As Jonah stayed three days in the belly of a fish, and then I saw the Son of Man will stay in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. And on judgment day, the men of the river will rise against this nation, generation because Jonah, Jonah prayed to them and they repented. Was somebody greater than Jonah is here? Yes. They repented. They will condemn this generation. They rise with this generation and condemn it. So the glory of the, 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 Nineveh, the glory of God in Nineveh is that they repented when Jonah preached to them. And Jonah is just a prophet of God. And now the Son of God is here. He didn't repent. They will condemn you. The wind of the south will come. Rise with this generation on the judgment and condemn them. For he came all the way from the south to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And something greater than Solomon is here. So the glory of God is that the Queen of Sheba came all the way to hear the wisdom of the servant of God, Solomon. But something greater than Solomon is here, and you didn't listen. You didn't seek him. You don't want to hear the wisdom. So those didn't will glorify God by their repentance, and the men of Sheba glorify God by seeking the wisdom of Solomon. And that's why today you can see Jesus, God telling you how he got his glory from the Pharaoh of Egypt. When the Egyptians have left after the Passover experience, the death of the firstborn of all the Egyptians and the both men and animal, and judgment on their deities, on their gods. The Pharaoh and his men changed their mind after some days and regretted why they allowed the Israelites to leave this country to serve them. 
Pharaoh and his men made up his mind and carried 6,600 chariots with all officers minding them and other chariots and horses and armies, the best of armies, and pursued the Israelites definitely without looking back with intention to bring them back to Egypt. And they were pursuing them until they got them and come by the sea. And when Israel saw that they were God with great fear and cried out to God and accused Moses, why do you bring us out here to die in the wilderness? That what we told you in Egypt to leave us. We better we serve these, these Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. And Moses said, don't be afraid. Be still. You will see the God of salvation today in your life. The Pharaoh and the army you see today will see no more. Moses was crying to God. And God said, well, why are you crying to me? Stretch out your rod over the sea. And let add them to march on. And they stretched out the sea, divided it to two. And they marched on into this, the, in the land through the sea. And by then, had crossed the waves of the chariots and everything. They were crowding. And these people continued until they left. They all passed through the sea. And the soldiers of Pharaoh got into the land they were in now, into the depth of the sea, the middle of the sea. When the last person of Israel had left the shore of the sea. And the water engulfed all of them. He said, We had any heart of Pharaoh until he tastes greatly by him. And he said, When I take greatly over the Pharaoh and his chariots and his army, we know I am God, no other one that, like me. Not what exactly he did. Look how he went about it. I'll get Goli over Pharaoh and all his hosts, his chariots and his horsemen, and the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I have gotten Goli over Pharaoh, his chariots and his horsemen. So the glory of God was to that they were put to shame. And they would not recognize the Lord. The glory of God that he takes is on top of his enemies. The glory of God is on top of all his creations. The glory of God is that he's on top above evil, all evil. Now when the psalmist who understood this so we said, they will say today, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. Has triumphed gloriously. Yes, that's how God wants to take glory in me and your life. When we have grown above, we have switched every voting in us, in thoughts and words, we take glory in us. We switch away from the people in our nations, we take glory over us, over them. And, and we shall be happy. We celebrate. The glory of God is our joy, is our peace, is our salvation. Of our enemies and all who hate us. Remember the prophets of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord that God of Israel. How he has appointed a redeemer from the house of David. To free us from our foes and all who hate us. As promised through the prophets, through the list of the prophets of old. That free from fear and safe from the house of our evil will serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. That's the promise. So God wants to take glory in all his creatures by undoing the world who hate us, throwing them out of the system to make us see the glory of God. Their failure, their, as our suffering showed the holiness of God, their downfall will show us the glory of God. So that's why I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously in my life, in my country, in our nation. I will ask him to do in Nigeria, and in Africa, and in the whole world. And now when we're celebrating St. Shabbat today, Shabbat was from Lebanon, Born in the year 1828, 
At the age of 23, he joined the novitiate of the Lebanese Maronata Monastery. That's where he chose the name Shaber. His name was Joseph before. This monastery is called the Notre Dame the Method Monastery. There he was ordained in prison in 1859. He spent several years in their community in Anaya. And 23 years in St. Paul and Peter Hermitage, where he died in 1898. He was known for his austerity, penis, charity, and chastity, obedience. He is known for his great devotion to the Blessed Sacrament. So all his life was to glorify God, and God take glory in him. I was celebrating him today. May God take glory in our, in our lives. May God take glory over our enemies. May God take glory over our pains and sorrows. We ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the glory of God shine upon all of us. And we celebrate his triumphant glory in our, in our lives. And of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. Oh.